previously in Waking Titan. Many players have received their physical level 4 Atlas Pass, but not all 10,000 have been reported. A new product was announced to be shipping soon from a company called Wear. The platform uses lucid dreams for players to play games, like VR, but you can do this while you sleep, not wasting any kind of time. Another Mercury process was started by the community, which led to the announcement of No Man's Sky's forthcoming update next, slated for summer 2018. My name is Kyle Clover, Gaming is Diabetic Gamer, and you can watch all of my Waking Titan recap episodes in a playlist that I have linked in the description. On April 2nd, 2018, the Mercury command changed to say, Process Ongoing. Then the status command updated to show, Booting up command.center.v11. Then shortly after, added more, Pending approval by Monarch. The admin of the Wear Discord mentioned a few things to look for in the near future. A new website, an extranet, and the release of their Wear crypto coin. Then announced that they would be at PAX East and says to let them know if anyone plans on attending. At the same time, an email went out from Wear. In this email, Wear mentions an English version of the site coming soon and invites indie developers to apply for one of their developer kits. They also mentioned the second round of giveaways, which are 25 people in these emails. They received a different message with a key to another game from Ware's partners. In the application on their website, it asks about the dev team and the kind of game you want to develop and how it can benefit from Ware's platform. Some people emailed Ware letting them know they would be attending PAX East. Ware responded with, this is great. We have a lot of people at the booth. I'll send you details during the weekend on how to find us and how to get in touch with us. Then, a few days later on April 6th, the English site launched and now provided a developer access tab, which brought up a login page. Then on April 7th, the status command on the Waking Titan console updated. Error. Unable to connect with repository. And then a memory dump with a JPEG. The JPEG is an address of a picture on Imgur. The image bears a Myriad logo and, in its distorted state, shows a concentrated amount of red around the Middle East region of the world map, including India, Pakistan, and the left part of China. An email went out to those attending PAX. Hello, we've heard from some attendees that our booth at PAX East is very difficult to find this year. To help you find the booth, we've enlisted the help of an enforcer. Here is the information that our team at PAX has sent us to help you locate them. Handle emu, path starts, and a list of numbers and letters. With repeat. You should be able to find them on their path between 12pm and 3pm local time. Where? The numbers and letters are directions for where the enforcer will be walking for the following day. By using the booth's numbers, we add or subtract the number in the email and move in the direction of the letter. Players were able to narrow down the starting position of this path of math problems to the spearhead booth with 17102. It's the only path on the exhibit floor that could be repeated. The following day, April 8th, at 12 p.m., players found Emu and received four USB sticks that contained images and text files. The images are a mixture of words, while the text files are quotes signed by Arnaud at Philo Ju. Igmi, pictured here with Codex, did some further investigating by stopping at Kit Fox's booth, one of the partner developers with Ware. When asking about their involvement, they responded by saying, we may be developing something for Ware secretly. If we go to the website philoju.com, we see an image and other information in French featuring Arnaud Lecours. The section with Arnaud talks about his history and passion for philosophy. If we layer the images from the USB drives over each other, it cancels out many of the words and we are left with a string of letters. These letters are the password for the dev login page on the Ware website. And by using our nods email, we can now enter the dev access page. In the developers area, we have access to our nods dashboard, 
showing several weekly stats and funding in sub-wallets, each named after the phonetic alphabet and showing 256 where. Documents, Task Manager, and Request Supplies tabs are all out of Arnott's level of clearance. Going to his profile, we get more information about the indie developer, including a phone number. Dialing the number, we get a message from Arnaud. Oui, bonjour. Vous avez bien rejoint Armand Lacour, fondateur et CEO de Fille le jeu. Je ne suis pas disponible pour l'instant, mais laissez-moi vos informations et je vous rappellerai dans les plus brefs délais. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Désolé, cette boîte vocale est pleine. Veuillez essayer de nouveau un peu plus tard. Merci d'avoir appelé. Au revoir. It's important to note that while Arnaud is the CEO and founder of his own company, Philojou, he clearly has limited access to what Ware provides, a level 3 clearance as it were. A message in Ware's Discord channel, Dev Relations, states that they will soon be sending out dev kits to developers with level clearance of 1 and 2. Some are speculating this has something to do with the level 4 Atlas passes and the cryptic codes on them. I'm Kyle Culver, Gaming is Diabetic Gamer, and I bid you good luck, travelers. <laughs>